for joining us this evening on TK08 Local News. A Johnson County man is accused of cutting another man with a knife during a fight in Mountain Home. According to Mountain Home Police Chief Kerry Manuel, 42-year-old Stephen Brown of Clarksville, Arkansas, was arrested Saturday of first-degree battery and is in the Baxter County Detention Center with a bond set at $10,000. Brown allegedly uh, exited his vehicle in front of a local business with a knife in, in, in his back pocket, and a fight began after he walked toward the victim. Brown is accused of pulling the knife out and cutting the victim above his eye and on his forearm. The victim eventually gained control of the knife, and an off-duty Izzard County deputy later broke up the fight and detained both men before officers arrived. Kevin Shute of Calico Rock uh, given, it was given eight years in prison after pleading guilty to drug-related charges. The 46-year-old Shute was arrested in early November of last year. A Baxter County deputy sheriff and a North Fork police officer were working a traffic stop when they were told that a man on a motorcycle had been seen looking into sheds on the other people's property. Officer Dempsey Thompson and Baxter County Sheriff Deputy Rocky Morrell stopped shoot on State Highway 5 South and Jordan Road. The law officers discovered that Shute's driver's license was suspended and a search of the motorcycle was undertaken. Morrell found a syringe lying in the top of the grass and leaves next to the motorcycle. In addition, officers found a small set of scales and plastic bags containing a substance believed to be methamphetamine. With the opening of new facilities on Goblin Drive just weeks away, the Harrison School District has been granted a reprieve from installing a a sidewalks for now. The Harrison Planning Commission met last week and agreed to allow the school to post a bond to guarantee that it will build a sidewalk parallel to Goblin Drive along its property after the street is widened. Harrison Public Works Director Wade Phillips told commissioners that the commission uh, had granted approval for the construction project in June of 2015, but conditions, uh, but was on condition that approval on the school installing a five-foot sidewalk for future use. Officials say that waiving the sidewalk requirement would save the district money by allowing it to include their portion of the sidewalk in the overall project with the city uh, to eliminate the potential of wasted funds and allowing the city to design more flexibility in the Goblin Drive project. The commission voted unanimously to defer the sidewalk requirement so Phillips can issue the district a certificate of occupancy. Students from the Bergman High School East program gathered at Home Depot Friday morning, June 30th, to collect the materials needed for their transition mission project. The transition mission project is meant to provide temporary housing for homeless people who are in the application process for housing assistance. The students from the Bergman East program have designed a solar-powered micro-shelter which would provide secure sleeping accommodations for up to three people. The students were able to support this project with a Home Depot Community Impact Grant, which was used to purchase the materials. As a reminder, it is illegal to set off fireworks tonight inside Harrison City limits. Tomorrow, however, residents can celebrate the holiday all they want, but it is requested that caution be used in residential areas to avoid fire or damage to area homes and businesses. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some uh, headline news from around the region as TK08 News continues. People around the country are noticing North Arkansas College as one of the best deals around. North Ark was just named one of the most affordable community colleges in the nation, costing about one-third of what you would pay at a university. This fall, North Ark is offering paid internships to help students earn while they learn. Explore the full list of fall classes at northark.edu and enroll today. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. 
for quality, value, and convenience. Think North Arc first. We're your college. Stop and shop. These 4th of July savings are sizzling this week at Edwards Grocery. Select a varieties, bar as franks, two for $1. Pork steaks, only $1.49 per pound of the family packs. Red rye pole seedless watermelons, only $2.99 each. Original or mesquite best choice charcoal briquettes, only $4.99. And select a varieties, Gatorade thirst quenchers, only $0.79. Cents. Edwards Grocery, save your money. You've waited and waited and waited. The paperwork is done. It's official. Opening this Saturday, the Station Bar and Grill, South 65 in Harrison, formerly Agave's Restaurant, with live music every weekend and kicking it off, the award-winning Southbound Train. Hi folks, the Matt Man, Matt Duncan here, inviting you personally to come out to the station for opening night. Lots of prizes and drink specials to be had, and even a free shuttle to get the drunks home. The Station, Highway 65 South in Harrison. All aboard! on Sunday announced the arrest of a rapper whose Arkansas performance was marred by gunfire that struck 25 people and left three wounded in the shooting's chaotic aftermath. Police say Ricky Hampton of Memphis, Tennessee performs under the name of Finesse two times. He was wanted on outstanding warrants unrelated to the mass shooting at the Power Ultra Lounge nightclub in Little Rock early on Saturday morning. Those charges from Four City, Arkansas, include aggravated assault and being a felon in possession of a gun. No arrests have been made in the nightclub shooting. However, police consider Hampton as a person of interest in the shooting. The victims range from the age of 16 to 35. Two were in critical condition while the rest suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Police arrested a Jonesboro man Sunday evening after being found that he had passed, uh, passed out behind the wheel of a, in the middle of a very busy intersection. An off-duty West Helena police officer called police after finding 37-year-old James Edward Williams slumped over in his still-running vehicle. He told officers he struck the vehicle's window several times before Williams woke up. He said Williams appeared to be very disoriented and did not know where he was. Officer Nathan Ivey then spoke with Williams, uh, who still seemed a bit disoriented. After asking and receiving consent to search Williams' automobile, police found five empty air duster cans. Williams reportedly told police he was dealing with a personal issue and admitted to huffing air duster while driving in the vehicle. Williams was booked in the Craighead County Detention Center on suspicion of driving while in- intoxicated and ga- given a $1,900 surety bond. Governor Asa Hutchison has announced his intent to grant 13 pardons this week. Of those, Hutchison intends to grant pardons to the following people from northeast Arkansas. Pinky Brooks of Jonesboro for delivery of marijuana back in 1994. Mike Garner of Jonesboro for a 1994 case of breaking or entering and Scott A. McConnell of Mountain Home for possession of a controlled substance with the intent to deliver from 1995. There is a 30-day waiting period to receive public feedback on the notices before final action is actually taken. Hutchison denied any additional 45 clemency requests and took no action on three others. Senator Tom Cotton has announced that he is looking for interns to work in his state offices in Little Rock and Springdale. There are two internship sessions, August 28th through October 13th and October 16th through December the 8th. 
interns will be able to help with the daily operations of Senator Cotton's office, and some interns may be able to earn academic credit doing so. Interested applicants should send a resume and cover letter to Vanessa Moody at cottons.senate.gov. A year-long project to get high-speed internet into every school in Arkansas will conclude before summer break ends. By running fiber optic cables from the Ozarks to the Delta and serving all half of a million students in between, Arkansas will be one of the uh, handful of states that guarantees the service everywhere. The achievement is the result of a State Department of Information Systems project involving more than 20 telecommunications companies funded by the Federal Communications Commission. Governor Asa Hutchison also is counting on the broadband connections to deliver a campaign promise to offer computer coding classes in every Arkansas classroom. Before we take a look at the weather forecast for the 4th of July holiday, here's the way the stock market ended today. Scattered showers and thunderstorms were in the viewing area early this morning and continued on to the uh, mid-morning hours before they finally dissipated, most of them moving to the southeast of the viewing area. Turned out to be really a nice day. Boy, it was humid out there, though. Humidity about 80%. Temperatures uh, getting up to around 85 degrees this afternoon. Felt even warmer than that. Well, here's the way it looks for tomorrow, which is the 4th of July, and a lot of activities around the viewing area on the 4th, obviously, along with fireworks tomorrow evening. Uh, tomorrow, they say scattered thunderstorms again will be in the forecast for most of the viewing area. About 81 degrees for an afternoon high, 50% chance that you might have some rainfall on and off in your particular area. Then on Wednesday, thunderstorms much more prevalent. In fact, most of the afternoon you'll see rainfall in the area according to the National Weather Service. 82 degrees for an afternoon high on Wednesday and 90% chance of rainfall. Thursday, everything clears out for at least a short period of time. Partly cloudy skies and 89 degrees. On Friday, sunny skies up to 92 degrees. And Saturday right now, scattered thunderstorms back in the forecast. 87 degrees for an afternoon high and about 60% chance of rainfall. So uh, the 4th of July looks pretty good overall. You never know for sure uh, when you've got that percentage, but I'm sure most people will have an opportunity to get their fireworks shot off and hopefully uh, be entertained by wherever you may be tomorrow evening that's having a 4th of July celebration. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TKO8 News continues. <music> Becoming a clinical medical assistant offers a quick transition from college to career. This fall, North Arc is offering a clinical medical assistant course to prepare you for the job in doctor's offices or health clinics. Clinical medical assisting is included in the Arkansas Future Scholarship, available for qualified applicants. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Arc first. We're your college. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Are you trying to get out and take in these beautiful days, but find that you end up sneezing, itching, and getting all sorts of bites or rashes? Don't let outdoor allergies, bugs, or poisonous plants keep you from enjoying all that the Ozarks has to offer this season. Stop in at Nature's Wonders and let us show you the products we carry that can help with the challenging parts of nature so that you can enjoy all the wonders. Find us on Highway 65 just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. Nature's Wonders, the natural living store. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. 
Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison, harrisonbatteryandtire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. The Carroll County Legends traveled to Batesville this past weekend to play in the Cal Ripken North Arkansas State Championship. The Legends began play on Friday, continued their play through Sunday to the championship game. Ending the weekend undefeated, the team took on Blyfel in the semifinals and came out on top with a close score of 7-6. to six. In the championship game, the Legends took on Mountain Home and came out victorious with a score of 4-1. Miguel Sano belted a three-run homer. Felix George pitched five-plus solid innings to win his major league debut. And the Minnesota Twins held off the Kansas City Rolls 10-5 on Saturday night for a split of the doubleheader. Brandon Moss, Achilles Escobar, and Alex Gordon went on a combined 6-for-12 with three home runs and seven RBIs and scored six runs as the Rolls rallied from a four-run deficit to beat the Twins 11-6 in their opener. Alex Miez's first two uh, major league hits, including an eight-inning home run, were the difference as the St. Louis Cardinals defeated the Washington Nationals 2-1 to on Saturday night. The Cardinals have won four straight and six of their last seven ballgames. Daniel Sayo scored his first career Major League uh, Soccer goal in the second half, and Sporting Kansas City remained unbeaten at home with a 1-1 draw with the uh, uh, Portland Timbers uh, on Saturday night. Shalek took a delivery from Roger Espinayo and settled the ball and found the top corner in the uh, 60-minute program. Salo, who entered the game in the 35-minute mark, had played the in just eight of the uh, 18 matches, averaging less than 10 minutes with no shots on target. Salo's goal was the only shot on target for Sporting KC, which leads the Western Conference and is 6-0, 6-0-3, I should say, at home. The St. Louis Blues have resigned forward Magnus Pukovic to a one-year, one-way contract worth about $800,000. Blues general manager Doug Armstrong announced the deal yesterday. The 26-year-old Pukovic split last season between the Blues and the Chicago Wolves of the American Hockey League. And that wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. We hope you have a wonderful and a safe 4th of July. We'll see you again on Wednesday at this same time. James McGuire. Don't tell me you know how to make a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. Why, you got some?